anything that is in the books I try to have out on the tables. So the concrete materials are anything that we would use for children to put their hands on and manipulate to help them access their maths. Hopefully, as they're manipulating the concrete materials, they're starting to extrapolate some more um, abstract ideas from that. The concrete kind of gives them a way in, which we would then move towards, well, here I've got four trains. Maybe I could draw a picture of four trains, and that might move towards, as they get older, um, four blocks or a bar model that shows four, um, eventually moving to knowing that two and two is always four. Um, and we have seen pe people building a tower or making a pattern. Um, and sometimes you just gotta make time for that. But also, those children who really like to play with the materials, great to get them to let, help you set up a playtime. Can you just come and, you can sort these for me now. Um, because sorting the concrete materials, there's a whole load of learning and maths in that. But if the maths problem that they've been given is challenging enough, they're focused enough on the problem. Certainly once you get to these, nobody is trying to use these to build towers or make anything else because they've got a problem to solve and that's what they want to do, they want to solve a problem. I do look through the textbook. Um, I also look at the online teacher planning because of the, the variation and the differentiation that's broken down so carefully. But the first thing, in choosing concrete materials, the first thing I will look at is what concrete materials are represented in the Let's Learn. If there is a picture of some number discs in the Let's Learn, I would expect them to use them in the anchor task. Um, just to make that connection, because the Let's Learn should be so closely connected to everything that comes out in the anchor task. And if they see a new represent where they use number discs and we don't have those, that creates a barrier. Whereas if they open the book and they say, oh look, they use number discs, I use number discs. Did we lay them out the same way? Did we lay them out differently? We can then interrogate the maths, which is the point of it all. Anything that is in the books, I try to have out on the tables, occasionally on the windowsill for them to grab, but most of the time it'll be quite explicit. This, this will help you today. Um, but then they can still choose what they use. If you enjoyed the video, then why not hit the like button? Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so, to stay up to date with our latest videos. If you want to check out more videos, then click on the right to dive into another topic. Thanks for watching.